Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new reverb plugin by D16 Audio. It is Spacerec. Let's jump right into it. So here we've got it. I've got a piano running through it already, and let's just give it a couple listens, go through some of the presets first, and we'll dive into the UI. Let's put some higher notes. Let's try out some of the mini presets. They've got their classic browsing, cr classic look too here. This is sound stage one. Here is Cube Session 1. Here's Cornered. Here's Fanfare 1. So very nice stuff in here. Got a whole bunch. Honestly, we could go through just tons of these. Let's get into the plugin and what it does. So we've got our, you know, just classic regular interface up here as far as uh, the D16 stuff goes. But we've got control over the direct, early, and late reflections. So that's really nice. You can control the panning and the volume, uh, tilt EQ. But what makes this really cool is the reverb model over here. So you can see the mic setup, the width, the length, and all the modeling details. And you click on it and you can choose different models. And this is just, this is really cool. Uh, they, they sound fantastic. So let's just go through a couple here. So here's Absorbent. I'm gonna go ahead and just play like a D major chord. That's what Absorbent sounds like. Let's go for Chorch, Chorch, Church. So the variety you can get out of this is like a fantastic. This long dark room. And of course we would dial back the mix some, um, but I really want these to be really obvious what they're doing. Horizontal tunnel. Let's go for medium room. My keyboard is a bit finicky here, so some nodes jump up the velocity level and cause the brighter note. So just if you're wondering where those bright notes are coming from. That's reflective room. Here's small booth. So this is like where the stuff is at, man. If you're going to be grabbing this and using this, you're definitely going to want to come in here and check these out. There's a ton of really cool options. What I find so impressive about it is how unique each one sounds. Like there's, there really is a sound, a big sound difference as you go from one to another, uh, where sometimes when you open up stuff like this, they... They sound different, but they're not they're not like so big that you feel like a, a, you've gotten a new quality necessarily. It's kind of like a, a take on the same quality where these are you, you have so many different palettes to choose from. Uh, really, really nice. And in the presets, too, as you heard, those sound great as well. So that is the reverb model. You've got a pre delay and you've also got uh, some mid side stuff that you can do if, if you would like to the mix, and then the output volume. So the reverb itself is really, really intuitive. There's not a lot here that should be that stuff you get stuck 
just messing with knobs endlessly while mixing. It's really a plugin meant to load it up. Sounds fantastic. You have some different choices you can go through. And then you move on to your mixing. Or if you're composing, you set this up. You write your stuff. And you're not sitting here tweaking a reverb endlessly. And that's what uh, a lot of companies are trying to do this right now. Strike that balance between sounding really good and giving options while also maintaining uh, simpleness so that you don't have every control over every last delay in the reverb. Uh, and so I think D16's take on this is really, really good. Uh, the reverb models are a genius idea, the way they've done it here, how fast it is. So that's the Space Rec Reverb. We are gonna be taking a, another look at using many of these in another project in a much more advanced setting where I have several open and I'm morphing between various reverb presets to create a really cool effect. So keep your eye out for that video. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.